Carrier I show at the Blue Rain Gallery and I'm hard at work on a new series, Troubadours Musica y Magica, which will be presented at Blue Rain with an opening reception Friday, June 30th, 5 to 7. I've been thinking about this new work and one of the impetus behind this series is my lifelong love of music. Since I was a little girl, like many members of my family played piano and we do these recitals together. My grandfather and my great aunt taught me to play. And growing up, I was always good friends with musicians. I would do the band flyers in high school and then in my adult life, I always play music when I'm working. I was looking at my sketchbooks and travel journals the other day and realized like how many drawings there are of people playing music, singing music, um, dancing to music. I've been thinking a lot about how that has entered into my work and inspired my work over the years. and how I have really tried to capture in my drawings that moment of like the magic of live music, that really ephemeral moment that it's just purely present for the artists themselves, but also the listeners. It's like this magic of connection and everyone is in sync and it's so fleeting and I, I've tried to capture that with drawings but I think what is kind of exciting about this new work is that attempting to translate that to a larger large-scale panel like that moment of creative inception when someone is um, bringing forth their voice like my portrait of Sophie or Lhasa de Sela or crafting a song like with Valerie June or David Bowie. Another dimension of the work it's poetry and for any of you who followed my work these past few years you'll notice that it's it's been a big concern and inspiration for me. The subjects who have like this deeper sense of inquiry, that it's not about, you know, fame and glory and fortune, their, their creative work or their passion, but rather some deeper metaphysical concern and, and curiosity and spiritual. I think that a lot of the subjects in my new series reflect that and also like transforming angst and suffering into something of beauty like into creative work these are just people who are always striving to evolve and transform and take both the physical and emotional and kind of institutional suffering of the world and with their passion like parlay that into transcendence a poetic transcendence and finally like in this new series you'll see that all of these concerns the the pathos and passion poetry um, my love of music and also movement but all of that is converging into the new work you'll see also how you know like there's a large scale piece on women practicing martial arts and how I see that fitting into all this is that it's kind of like the music of movement. I've been like increasingly dedicated and committed to my own practice of dance and that's very much reflected in, in the new work also. Mm -hmm.